Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So today we are back with Marissa Fishwater, one of my favourite sims. She's currently living in a flat in San Myshuno. She does still have her little her little cult community, her little pod community, still living in Henford on Bagley. She's just taking a bit of a break from them. She's got her team uh, just working on a few fundraising activities at the moment, so she's given them a little bit of space for them to try and raise some money for a good cause. Since the last time we saw Marissa, she's kind of come into a little bit of money. She didn't tell me how. I can only assume probably something to do with her little pod community, but she decided to reinvest some of it. She's got some money in her household funds, but she also purchased herself a spa. Her very own spa. So I thought for today's video, we would spend just a couple of days with Marissa, just to help her get her spa on its feet, get some customers in, get some regular business. We like this sim, you know, we want her to thrive. So I think it's quite early, 7.30 in the morning. Let's start our day and head over there. So let's go. It, I have listed it as a retail lot just because you can't actually own a spa. I think the whole owning a spa thing only works if you like work from home and I didn't want to do that. I wanted to have some separation between our home and the business. So this is a retail lot. But as you can see, it's quite clearly a spa. We've got our massage chairs over here where we can do people's nails. Massage beds. Oh, and do you know what? I'm gonna fill this fountain with something pink. Fruit punch for our customers. Got makeover chairs. And then we've got this nice little quiet area for whenever we want to give yoga classes. And then of course we've got the changing rooms and the bathrooms. You're not supposed to swim in that. That's meant to be a water feature. Fill fountain with fruit punch. Why can't you? What's your fucking problem? Okay, fine. Well, the punch table is just there for decoration then. <laughs> I don't actually have anything to sell, but I can't open until I get myself a cash register, so I guess I'll just put one over here, just for decoration, there we go. Really uglies the place, but fine. All right, let's open up. So now we just wait for the customers. Wait for them to roll in. Oh, I see one, old lady crumps. Right, let's go and greet Agnes Crumplebottom. Welcome to our spa slash salon. We offer many treatments here. We can trim your vag, wax your vag, clean your vag up. Only takes 10 minutes. How about we start with a mani-pedi? Come on, you angry goose. Let's go get your nails done. I'm gonna make you feel like a million simoleons, babe. Your self-esteem will be through the roof. All we have to do is change every single thing about you and turn you into a different woman. All right, you know what? I'm actually gonna delete this swimming pool because it's more hassle than it's worth. <laughs> You guys enjoy being part of the grass. Oh no, it, that's ended my day. Well, open again, open again. Oh, wait, we've got some new customers now. Welcome, yeah. Hillary. Welcome to my salon. We can steam your vag, clean up your vag, pierce your vag, tattoo your vag. But how about we start with a pedicure? She's just window shopping, she's in a fine mood. What color should we go for? I think maybe lilac. That's right, bitch. Come on, bitch, let's go, bitch. All right, what do you want? Well, you want the nails? I can't do the snowflake, but I can do a vulva with a winky face. Oh, I could give a fertility massage. That seems pretty in-depth. We will offer a fertility massage. We can go inside or out, your choice. Okay, let's ask Hillary if she wants a fertility massage. I think she's, she said yes. Okay, great, let's go. Whatever problems you got with your vag, we're gonna sort them out, don't you worry, honey. You're gonna be pissing out those babies in no time. It's gonna be raining babies for you, Hillary. And I tell you what, while I'm here, I'll give it a little clean as well, clean you up. Your pit of shame is gonna look dazzling when I'm done with it. Next lucky guy you take home and show your puss, he'll go, what? Is that puss? Or is it a very valuable diamond? Hillary. Cause he won't be able to tell the difference. Right, well, I think, you know, I'm about 10 minutes into recording. I think I have sensed the tone of this video now. <laughs> Right, I think once we finish yeah. massaging Hillary's tubes, um, we should probably go for, maybe we'll host a yoga class. That might be nice. You enjoying that? You enjoying that, Hillary? She looks a little bit scared. <laughs> she looks scarred for life, like she's worried. Don't be worried. We're expert. We'll be fine. Ah, oh, Bob Pancakes. Come and greet Bob Pancakes. Welcome to Marissa's Spa Salon. The team here at Marissa's Salon want you to have a fantastic time. The team being just me. But we do do salon treatments. We also sell packaged meat, unlocked phones, and a few treasures you'd struggle to find even on the black market. So if any of that's of interest to you, Bob, you just let me know. I'll take you down to the back room. Oh, and we also provide a clean-up vag service if you want to send Liz over. We don't currently have a sack clean-up service, but I will 
put you on the waiting list and we'll notify you when we start doing that. Right, can we lead a yoga session now? I feel like, uh, lead yoga routine. There we go. Come on guys, let's go get mindful, get changed. Our yoga class is starting soon, so get your assholes in gear. Ah, oh, so zen in here, so zen. Are we ready? Get ready, guys. Oh, Bob, you decided to join us. Take a mat. That one's been taken, Bob. Don't be a fuckwit. Take that one. There we go, dum-dum. Well done. Okay, guys, welcome to yoga. Yoga is good for the soul. But today we are going to be focusing on the heart for this class, though, because... Because Jerry at the back recently had his wife walk out on him. So today we focus on fixing Jerry's heart and profound loneliness. I know Jerry won't mind me sharing this with you strangers, but since she left, he's really let himself go. Especially in the hygiene department, which those of you, <laughs> which those of you in the surrounding mats might have noticed already. So that's the focus for today, all right? And I won't hear any more about it. She was having it off with her boss, wasn't she, Jerry? Yeah, nasty business. Bob Pancakes, you fucking animal. Take part or piss off. All right, breathe in deep, guys. Breathe in deep. In through your mouth and out through your asshole. Some of you in here have already felt the benefits of our VAG cleanup package. Some of you, though, judging by the aroma around this room, might want to come and see me after. Oh, deep breaths, deep breaths. Oh, this is a familiar position for me. All right, guys, that's enough fun. We've had fun today. You know, with the story about Jerry, we've all had a laugh, but come on, let's get serious now. This is about yoga, it's about mindfulness. So bend over, guys, bend right over. How the, f what am I doing? How am I doing this? I think I'm bridging. Yeah, you just do that, do what I'm doing. Bob, if you're just gonna stand there like a useless sack of ham, then I'm gonna ask you nicely to get out. And nap time. We all just think about the activities and loved ones we're going home to when we finish today. Except you, Jerry. Sorry about that. Okay. Session over. Well done, guys. You all gave 110%. Good job. Good job. Maybe we'll give a little foot massage to Bob. Oh, Jerry's talking to me after. Maybe he's trying to have a go. Nah, he won't be annoyed at me for sharing his personal business. He's probably just thanking me for the inspirational messages. Oh, Vanessa Jong's here. Maybe I'll offer her a massage. I don't even have the option to, like, say hello or anything. Why did you come here if you weren't going to use any of my services? You just show up for the attention? You don't want me to make you look nice? You can get a boyfriend? All right, fine. Don't have any treatments. And I hope when you do get a boyfriend, you have a very happy life. If he isn't too busy on tour with the circus. Oh, you just taking a shower? Well, I don't know about you, Marissa, but this has been a crazy day. I was hoping to give a massage, but there's not many options. Oh, but the disrespect! This place is clean already, thank you very much. Although Bob does keep going around guffing everywhere, which doesn't help the reputation, but I think I've had about enough of today. We've taken on some heavy emotional shit, so I think we'll go home and then we'll have another successful day tomorrow. I earned zero simoleons, fantastic, fantastic news. All right, well, oh, I'm just getting started on The Sims 4. What's that, play The Sims 4 for five hours? Sounds about right. Based on how much I know about how to actually play this game, yeah, probably. All right, Marissa, will you just enjoy your evening? I'm not gonna boss you around. I'm not gonna tell you what to do. You just have fun, girl. And we'll pick up again tomorrow for another day at the salon slash spa. Sunday morning. Marissa had a lovely evening. She just watched a bit of TV. Didn't really do much. Probably time to, you, to get up now. So, think wake up and I've, I've got I've created a little logistical nightmare for myself where I can't leave the bed so I have to sit down and then get up <laughs> that's that's how we navigate around our bed every day really convenient okay how about we go and have some breakfast maybe just some pancakes what did you queue up oh I didn't see sorry I ignored what you actually wanted We'll just make some pancakes, we'll take a shit, and then we'll head down to the spa. I'd quite like to actually make some money this time. To be honest, I'm not really too fussed about the finances, because I just quite enjoy being able to have a hub where my sims can go, and I can act as, like, the spa hostess, and I don't really have any expenses, but it would be nice to make some money, at least. So, we'll have our pancakes, go to the bathroom... We should have people begging to give us their money. We're level 10 wellness skill. Shouldn't be this difficult. We're a master of life advice. And we provide that for free. On top of our other services. So, you know what? Slap on a positive attitude, Marissa. Let's head down to the spa and try and get some money out of these ungrateful swines. Travel to venue. Open. Let's promote our services. See, I don't know if the game will actually recognise any money that I make from um, 
performing services. I, I'm guessing it would only recognize money I make from selling stuff, which is obviously going to be nothing. But, you know, maybe we'll be able to... Oh, hello, ladies. Welcome. Welcome. Greet customer. Greet customer. Don't turn your back to them, Marissa. Go and say hello. They look like they're interested in some services. We can wax your vag, diamante your vag, give it a little rinse with warm water and soap. Perfect for girls on the go. What do you want, Neilani? You want to look like a princess? See, where can I... Where can I charge? What if I offer a manicure to Neilani? I'll just have to pay attention because I, I didn't really notice if I got paid. Okay, that was a yes, I think. Okay. Okay. Neilani. Oh, let's go for something like this. This is quite mermaidy, isn't it? Neilani, get your ass on that chair. I hope she pays me for this. Now you just relax and enjoy getting your nails done, my little mermaid, okay? Don't just stand talking in the bathroom. Use use the spa. Let's get some income in this place. Support local businesses. The more money we get from you, the more we can expand. We might be able to open an anal bleaching room. Those nails are going to look beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Gorgeous. Right, are you going to pay me then? You going to pay me? No. She's not going to pay me. The fuck do I have to do? Right, tend massage table and see if someone comes over. Maybe it's because it has to have the spa lot trait. So maybe you can't run a spa even if you set it as retail. I wonder what would happen. All right, you know what? You know what? I think I might have to... Um, right, I'm going to close my business. And we're going to head home. Okay, I'm starting to think this was a terrible idea and that I shouldn't have tried running a spa as a retail. It looked like that would be the best way to do it, but I'm just not getting paid. So I feel like if I just have this as a spa lot, first of all, I'll get my money back from buying it. And then I might be able to actually make some money. I wanted to own the lot myself so that I wouldn't have to have any competition for people like tending the massage tables or stealing the yoga room. But I think I'm just going to, I'm going to have to bite the bullet and sell it and turn it back into a spa because this is not working for me. Okay, what about now? I can come and tend this massage chair. I mean, she's kind of acting like a guest now though, which is not what I wanted. And some other fucking bitch is hosting a yoga class. Right, okay, here we go. Finally, though, offer hand massage to Victor Feng. Is he offering me a pedicure or am I offering him a pedicure? Okay, I think we are giving... Okay, good, good. So we should be making money from this. All right, well, I guess we're just going to have to compromise. I didn't want to have the colleagues. I didn't want to have other people working here. I mean, the yoga room's clearly gone to shit since we left, but that's fine. We'll just come here and work as, like, a self-employed person it's fine i was trying to be sneaky thought i'd get away with it but that's fine lesson learned i'll finish off don's um pedicure and then i'm gonna sneak into that yoga room as soon as that bitch has to go for a, a pee or something and then we'll just we'll kick her out we will take over the yoga okay let's just go into your empty yoga class and maybe see if you might want to fuck off no okay i guess i'll bring the big guns out i guess i'll just reset you then and then I will teach a yoga class, private, brain boosting. Yeah, that's right, get off the mat. Make room for the real yoga teacher. The way she's still just standing there. Go away, get out of it. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Okay, I guess we're starting. Will you fuck off? Look at the difference in uptake. This room is bursting at the seams. Okay, guys, places, places. We don't have room for all of you, so some of you are going to have to leave. Whenever you're ready, guys. You can just go away. You're annoying me, bringing paparazzi here. Okay, everyone, try and concentrate. Namaste. The mood for today's yoga session is generosity. I see a few familiar faces here from yesterday. Jerry, looking at you. Bob Pancakes, yeah, I'm seeing some familiar faces. Came and did some yoga yesterday and walked straight past the tip jar. And most of you people listed yourselves as single on the forms, especially you, Jerry, now more than ever. And I'm not being funny, guys, but you're never going to find someone if you're not a giving person. You lot are tighter than a duck's anus. And that's watertight. So today I ask you to change your ways. Don't just walk straight past the tip jar this time. Otherwise, tomorrow I will call you all out by name. Jerry. Bob. All right, guys, in through your nose, out through your asshole, And then upside down. Don't push it out, your asshole. Just let it flow. And then just tickle your toes. I don't even know what the, what I'm doing. Okay, class dismissed. And we did actually get paid. 220 simoleons. 
I don't really know where the time has gone though. Probably all that like messing around trying to sort out how I make money doing this without this being a retail lot. But the whole day seems to have gone. But you know what? At least we made some money. I am a bit disappointed that there isn't a way you can like run your own spa. Because I have no say in like the staff that are being hired. I have to like reset sims or just tell them to go away in order to tend these tables. If another yoga instructor starts a yoga class, I gotta reset them so I can start my own. So it's not ideal. But I mean, the main point of this was to give Marissa a little bit of a break from her cult community, her cult community, pod community. And you know, I think she's had a little bit of a break now. She has some time to work on her craft, which is what she enjoys doing most. Maybe we'll see her again. Maybe we'll be back at the pods, who knows. But on that note, I'm gonna end this fairly pointless video here. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.